Hey guys, welcome to My Crystal World, and today there are more news because why not? So I'm gonna be telling you more about the new Boys Crack LOL Lovely. Um, so we're gonna be talking about more of the Monster High news. Like more Haunt Couture dolls being shown at Comic Con. We'll see. But you'll have to keep watching for that. And we have more images and real life photos of the Comic Con Frankie. So keep watching to see to see them for yourself. So we got quite a few images of the Voltages doll. And they're all new, and we get a closer look at some of the details. Like, she does have gloves, and we can look at the art done by Darko Dark, and I think he outdid himself. Him, if those are his pronouns. I hope I'm not misgendering anyone. We can also get images of the back of the box, and the artwork, too, is just beautiful. It makes Frankie look really mature. Also, let me just say, it makes the, the monster idols look a little more... Carvations. If I do say so myself, it looks they, it makes them look a little like they have a little more meat on their bones. But yeah, overall this is very cool. And also, might I say, the display inside the box is voltageous. Ha ha. See what I did there. Also, it might be a possibility that you'll be able to read the comic book that the doll comes with, just like the original Voltages. Now, I don't have the original Voltages, but I'm pretty sure she came with a comic, so... I'm going by She-Her because the original Frankie goes by She-Her. And as I said, we have real-life pictures of this doll by Angel Laza. They're not pictures, but it's part of the video, which you can go check out on his channel. It's spelled A A N G. <laughs> I'm terrible at spelling things. Let me live. A just spell just search up how to spell angel and then lo, the Laza part L O Z A. There you go. Go off on your own, cause I ain't help you any more than that. But we can see the doll next to the original Voltages, and it looks a little off-putting and the eyes in this lighting at least makes the doll look a little bit greener like a light pale grayish green and it also doesn't help that she has colored eyes so that also adds to it but honestly i wish they just went with the full black and white look i think it just makes their um grayscale dolls more monster high grayscale dolls more interesting if they just do it like that but you know we also have more images of the artwork but of course like frankie dracula and claudine from haunted couture these dolls will retail for 75.99 so that is a lot of money to be spending especially considering what we have coming up later um so yeah Hope you have been get working on getting that money, and you have been no, and you've been no, uh, knowing and understanding that um, certain characters have been getting dolls. I bet you're all just like, oh my god, just say the doll's name, just stop trying to click, just stop trying to get people to watch the entire video. I want you to watch the entire video for watch time. Let me live. Let me get the views. Anyways. Love, love this beautiful artwork. It's gorgeous. The artists outdid themselves. Now last, but certainly not least, the Monster High Haunt Couture, Laguna and Cleo. Also, I know what you're all asking. Dolly Boy, if that's Laguna, then why does it say deuce under the box? Well, so Garrett Sander went to Comic-Con and because of the lighting, he thought it would... It was gr it was green, so he thought it was Laguna, so that was his mistake. So that's why it says Deuce under there. Um, but the bo but the boxes also include um their emblem emblems of course, like Lag Laguna's has like starfishes and her little skelet. And all sorts of little things. I'm not going to describe them because that's going to take me a whole minute to squint just to look at them. Also, I got these images from Courtly Jester, as per usual. 
because Quitly Duster is an amazing YouTuber. Go watch him. Go watch them. I was trying to say them, and then my mouth, as per usual, messes everything up and then makes me s and then makes me say something else. So I said him. Even though I meant to say them. Yeah, please go watch her channel. They are a great YouTuber. So first up, I want to talk about my fave, Cleo. And if I had to at least buy, and if I had to pick between the two of them as a gift, I would definitely choose Cleo because she is absolutely stunning. The blue may seem a bit random, but honestly, I think it works because it's very monochromatic. Like it's very stuck in the the color scheme that I think the blue is a nice pop, the nice pop, that bright blue electric blue is a nice pop and it seems to be that she has her old phone holder from her original doll now i don't have the original so i can't speak on that but Courtney jester said that so i'm just gonna go off of them um it looks to be that cleo has a fabric backpack and honestly this looks really good i love all the mummy wraps that are just dangling off of her like it's really pretty and her hair is super long and, oh my god, I want her. This image is making me want this doll. Um, yeah, she is beautiful. And we also have another image that I'm just going to put in through um, to show you. It's a better, it's a slightly better image because we can see the faces better. And well, Laguna, uh, I am not all for Laguna. Um, I don't... I don't mind Laguna. I think she can have some really pretty dolls um, and have some of the best hairstyles in the lot in lines, in doll line, the lines that she's in. But this one just doesn't speak to me. Um, the elf. Laguna just doesn't really speak to me. She just doesn't. She's too mermaidy and not really enough sea monster-ish. Like, it's... Like, it's, it's just, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what it is about it. It feels too not her. Like, Aguna has a very sporty style, and this doesn't give sporty. It gives more Pir Pirates of the Caribbean or Ash Nico in her Deal With It music video, which also gives Pirates of the Caribbean. I just wanted to say it because I want the world to know I'm an Ash Nico fan. I think her music is really interesting and cool, um, but that's not the point. Um, her hair is really pretty. I will say that. I love the hair, and the bag is really nice. The shoes look really cool. It looks like a kraken's just eating it up, and I think that's what her headband is, either that or, like, it's a wheel on a boat. I don't know. This just doesn't speak to me as much as the others. I feel like out of all of them, I would rank it Draculaura. Claudine and Cleo, those would be my tops. I don't know where I would place them. But then it would be Frankie above Laguna just because of the switch. And her design's just more cohesive to me. Um, and then Laguna. Then if, like, I feel if there were, like, any other dolls that came out in this line, like, I feel like Gulia would probably be even better than this one. I don't know. This, this Laguna just doesn't speak to me. <sighs> But in Cleo, though, you already heard what I said about Cleo. Well, that's about all I have for these girlies. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. And aside from that, like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that. Don't forget to ring that bell. And I will see you all next time. Wait, that's my froggy stuffs thing. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye. Oh my god, I forgot mine's. What's what's my thing? Hey, Rainbow High Dolls, do you know my thing? Oh, shoot, I might have to rewatch all my videos. Ugh, you know what? Bye. I, 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 bye.